everyone, this is Maria over the Tarpon Springs Public Library and today I'm going to teach you how to draw because you can draw. Art is all around us. Everywhere we look there is art. Art is in our homes, when we go outside, at school, even at our library. Art is everywhere. The title of this virtual program is You Can Draw because anyone can learn to draw with just a few basic concepts and steps. Parents, regardless of the child's age, they are able to draw at a very young age. When I was younger, I would love to draw. I would spend hours after school on my kitchen table drawing and creating characters, drawing sketches, and creating art. I began drawing before I can even write. Drawing pictures provide me with a sense of freedom, comfort, and happiness. In this program, I'm going to show you and teach you how to draw because you can draw. Today, we are going to learn how to draw simple drawings with some shapes and basic steps. But first, we're going to explore our colors by creating a color wheel. Using the three primary colors, we are going to create secondary colors. I know most of you know your colors, but art is all about mastering the basics. And that begins with understanding the color wheel. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. The materials you are going to need for your color wheel are first, a piece of paper, any size that you have at home. The next thing you will need are colors. You will need the three primary colors, blue, red, and yellow as well as white and black. If you do not have these paints, you are more than welcome to use any type of watercolor paints or colored pencils. You will also need two paint brushes, one for painting, one for mixing your colors, a cup of water, also either a paper plate or parchment paper for mixing your paint. As well as paper towels and napkins for cleaning your paint brushes. The first primary color we are going to use is the color red. The second primary color is the color yellow. The third primary color is blue. All right, so now you should have your three primary colors. You should have your yellow, red, and blue. Now we're going to mix together our colors to create secondary colors. All right, you have your paintbrushes ready? Let's get started. Now we're going to mix together our primary colors to create secondary colors. First, let's mix a little bit of red with blue to create the color purple. Next, let's mix together red and yellow. What color do you think we will get? Let's find out. Little bit of yellow. With a little bit of red. That makes a beautiful orange. Now, let's mix together blue with yellow to create the color green. Let's start with a little bit of yellow. Now take a little bit of blue, mix it together to create green. 
Green is my favorite color. All right, boys and girls, now that we have mixed our colors together, we have created our secondary colors. This is the beginning of our color wheel. Next, we're going to mix in some whites and blacks to create the colors, making them lighter and darker. All right, have your paintbrush handy and your paints. Let's get started. Now let's add white to each color. If we add white to each color, what do you think will happen? Let's start with the red. Let's add a little bit of white on top of the red with a little bit of red to see what color that makes. Now that looks like it's coming out to be a pink color. Now let's try it with the orange color. If we add a little white above the orange with just a little bit of orange, this will become a light orange. Now with the yellow, a little bit of white mixed with yellow will create a light yellow. Now a little white below the green mixed with a little bit of green this will make a light green color. Now remember boys and girls, you can use any form of paint that you have as well as color pencils to mix your colors, to make them light and dark. The next color, let's try a little bit of white mixed with a little bit of blue to create a sky blue or a light blue. Finally, a little bit of white above the purple mixed with a little bit of red and blue, which makes purple, to create a lighter purple. Now let's add black to each color to create darker colors. First, let's start with the red. Now remember to add just a little bit of black to each color. So a little bit of black above the red and a little bit of red will create a darker red. Next, we will do the orange. A little bit of black above the light orange and a little bit of orange, which is red and yellow mixed together, will create a dark orange. Let's continue with the yellow. A little bit of black 
mixed with a little bit of yellow will create a darker yellow. Now we take a little bit of black and add some green. It will create a dark green, much like a forest green. Now the blue, a little bit of black mixed with a little bit of blue will create a dark blue. And the last color will be purple. Mix a little bit of black with a little bit of purple Remember, red and blue make purple. We'll create a dark purple. Like so. Great job, boys and girls, creating your color wheel with all the different shades of color. Let's talk a little bit about contrasting colors. Contrasting colors are colors on the opposite side of the color wheel. These colors together makes a scene or picture stand out. For example, we have blue and orange, yellow and purple, red and green. Great work boys and girls creating your very own color wheel. Now this is a great picture that you can hang up on your fridge and have it for reference when you make any type of drawing and create different types of artwork. Next, I'm going to show you and teach you how to draw simple drawings with every single color we have on this color wheel. Alright everybody, let's get started. <music> 